All right, everyone. This is a super late video that I've been meaning to make on how to build a better vortex on a budget. Um, basically, I followed the same procedure as my first video. Uh, made some improvements because we had some trouble with this thing coming off the tracks last time. Um, so it's Saturday night. Are probably going to be super busy. We're going to open in less than an hour, so this is going to be a quick one. But um, bridge construction is identical to the first video. Um, we still did the beams going across. Um, I picked up some used steel grating, um, so the bridge is now see-through. Just adds to the effect. Uh, same exact railings as last time because the first build, it's made to come apart and uh, store pretty easily. Um, we actually used most of the same rings as last time too, as you can see. Checkerboard pattern this time around. Um, also did mirrors on each end. So this is just mirror tiles, that's why they look a little warped. But mirrors on each end, so it really, really messes people up. Um, I'll show you this thing running at the end of the video. And uh, so bridge construction, the same used steel grating. Uh, this is two, I think two nine foot pieces. So basically just um, ran it off into the ramps. We have ramps to enter and exit. That was our exit and our entrance here. So I'm actually going to show you the workings of this thing. Uh, turn this blower off. Okay. So, you um, can't see much because the tunnel's assembled, unfortunately. Um, so one of the improvements we made last build, we did um, three rings. So we had one ring, one in the center, and then one on the other end, which created a lot of flex when this was spinning. Um, so we added two more rings. So it's the same length tunnel, but we did five rings instead of three. So it makes the skeleton a lot stronger. Um, we also, let me spin this thing a little bit. So it's really humid in our gym and this duct tape holding the seams together keeps coming off. So uh, I would recommend taping this from the inside with some clear tape um, just to help keep it keep it in shape. We ended up doing that last night. But um, so uh, these, these rungs that come across hold all the rings together. We did five of these also. Um, so five rings and five cross braces, whereas the first build only had three cross braces. So our, our, our initial, our first improvement was making the skeleton of the tunnel much stronger. Another thing we did, uh, let me find a seam here. So the rings, uh, like the last time, they are three lengths of 10 foot, you know, uh, the gray PVC that you use for electrical. So the last build, we, we the, you know, there was a, um, a sleeve here and we just slid the pieces of PVC together in that sleeve and left it as is. And when that sleeve would roll over the wheels on the side up here, we have a couple wheels inside these boxes. Let me get a picture, there you go. Um, when that sleeve would bump over the wheels, it would shift the skeleton and knock it off the track. So we were constantly making adjustments. Um, we actually have a joke about some vice grips that held this thing on track all year, um, the last time we built it. So what I did this time is I cut that sleeve off and I put a little wooden dowel inside and I put a screw from the inside on, on both ends there to hold these uh, to seam together. So you can just back that screw out and you can still take this ring apart and store it but at least you don't have that big sleeve um, and it's more of a smooth smooth surface to roll over this wheel. So there isn't any big bumps. Um, obviously with five rings we now have five sets of wheels all the way down. Uh, first build we used a treadmill motor. Um, we actually had an extra motor this year. Uh, we normally use this motor to make a carousel room uh, which basically has a ton of hanging fabric spinning around the room. So I ended up using this motor for the Vortex because it actually has speed control, um, a gear reducer here, and the motor is right there. So, and I rigged it up, I bolted it to, so get light, bolted it to the wheel. So basically, turn this dial, this is all it does. It's a little loud because I got to grease it up again. I'm trying to think of any other improvements we may have made. 
We did make our backstage work area a little wider. Uh, last time we were literally laying under the tunnel uh, trying to make repairs, so I would recommend whatever room you build this in, if it's indoors, give yourself plenty of room to work. Um, this is an air cannon for the hallway on the other side of this wall, and this actually inflates an airbag on the other side of the wall uh, for a claustrophobia effect. But So this is the improved tunnel on a budget. Um, still costs the same since we had the thing built, take it apart. Um, we put the money into the used steel grating to get a see-through bridge. So um, let me turn this thing on and I'll show you it running. So we actually managed to get it a little faster than the last time with the treadmill motor. So that light leaking through, um, it ends up going away when we turn the lights for the building off. So it gets a little darker in here. Um, the noise is, you don't hear that noise from the motor at all because we have a giant speaker above us on the roof. Again, it's a 16-foot bridge uh, with about a 14-foot tunnel. So, that's uh, our better vortex on a budget um, with some improvements. Again, the improvements were adding two extra rings, adding two extra uh, cross braces. Um, I guess the motor would be considered an improvement. Um, I'd say our most important improvement was cutting out, um, you know, the, the sleeve off the rings and connecting them more flush with a wooden dowel on the inside. So, I would definitely recommend that um, if anybody's using this video to build. So, I um, hope this is helpful. I know I told some people I'd have this out way sooner, so I do apologize. But um, I'm hoping to get some more tutorial videos to help, you know, help out the haunt industry. So, I feel like there's not enough of that. But um, any questions comments feel free to leave them i try to answer as quick as i can and uh thanks for watching